Well, let's see if we can finish this off or not. Okay, I like the effect of her stage. It's like you're in the, between borders, between worlds, with the way it's designed. One half one way, one half the other way. And she can be quite tough to deal with if you're not careful, especially in story mode. There's a reason why she's a pen ultimate boss for basically six all but one character in the game. Okay, all but two characters. Technically. And if I remember why she doesn't have to fight herself. I don't think any of the characters ever have to fight themselves. Yeah, it's not one of those games where you fight a clone. One fun thing about doing a fighting game is the open and attack where you're trying to basically smack them around before they can do anything. Sometimes you can first strike and really pound them. Other times they basically beat you around and smack you silly before you even get off a single attack or press a button. Like a, the luck of the draw. It's a bit hard to deal with, unfortunately. I think I'm gonna have to recharge. Otherwise, I'll die. Well, she's probably gonna recharge too, so I have to hope for the best. Oh, of course, she didn't. I thought she was gonna recharge. And now for the final boss. I love this tune. Quite a cool and epic. Alright, let's turn it up a bit. She missed. I'm going to go ahead and is gone. Yeah, that four can be quite damaging. I can make more by using my players, so even if it's hard to aim it, when I play Suica, I mean. I guess she's very powerful when she's using super more than she's fighting normally. Yep, more general lines. Save this replay. Let's go ahead and save it. Um, yeah. And we'll just call it H O N E. Yep, it was on normal mode. But real quick, we're still here, but basically this just gives an idea. 
So you go into story mode. You can select the stage, which I'll probably do, so I don't have to worry about the continue thing. And once you select the stage, like so, you just select the card. So what I might do is just select this card, the top one, then select the top one again, and use that against the first opponent, then use the next two cards of the second opponent, so forth. Basically, World Tales, seven stages per character. That should mean each card gets used twice. And for the seventh stage, I'll use whatever I feel like using. Hmm. Well, that wraps up on the lane story and my rambling about how to do this game. I think, anyway. So basically, yeah, I'm gonna have to get better at the game if I wanna basically be it. I guess the best way to do it, as I said, is just to select the stage, record it while I be it, and then just go through the game on normal mode, or easy mode, and just beat the game that way. Let's change it back to Lunatic. And I guess we'll stop the video now. Bye.